in a first for South Africa's space industry. Three locally produced nanosatellites are being launched into space today. The first maritime domain awareness satellite constellation, MDA Set 1, will be has been launched as part of the US Aerospace Company Space Access Transporter 3 mission. The launch took place from Cape Canaveral in the United States. States. So let's speak now to Dr. Mboneni Mwofe, who is the Deputy Director General of Technology Innovation at the Department of Science and Technology. Thank you so much for your time this evening. This is certainly one of those significant moments in South Africa, isn't it? This is extremely significant for South Africa, and I think we need as a country to be very proud that we're making the necessary strides uh, towards making sure that uh, this country is not left behind technologically. And when we talk about this launch, um, you know, since its launch in 2018, you look at, uh, you know, the, the provision of cutting edge, very high frequency data exchange communication when it comes to the ZA Cube 2. I wonder then when it comes to the issue of, you know, skills, how important is that conversation going to be, especially when it comes to what the minister even said around how the country needs to add to its skills, especially when it comes to the issue of maritime sciences? So, so I think the, the, for us, the, the good thing is that this program was actually started on the basis of skills development. So a couple of years back when we started this program, it was us looking at how do we develop skills for the manufacturing of local satellites here. And that's why now as we're talking to you, one of the chief engineer is actually a product of this program. So all the students and the engineers that have been working on this program, these are really the uh, outcomes of the training that we started as part of this program. Now, our approach into doing these programs is that start by building capacity so that you can then move forward. And, and if you recall, you mentioned about the launch that we did in 2018. That was a launch of what we call a demonstrator, where we're trying now to demonstrate some of the technologies and some of the lessons that these guys have picked up. And, and, and we are pleased that that particular satellite is still in space and it's still giving us a high quality data. So yes, we've got a number of engineers that have come through this. And then most importantly, those engineers bring with us a lot of um, transformative uh, issues as well because we've been man we've also managed to train a lot of young black and women engineers in the process and of course we just still need to continue to work on especially in so far as women engineers are concerned Mm. And one of the things that we're asking our viewers tonight is what they make of this particular development. I mean, a number of them are quite excited, saying that this is a step in the right direction, especially looking at how, as you say, young, more and more young people are going to be given an opportunity into the space. But others are saying that this is a complete waste of money and it should actually go towards eradicating pit latrines in schools and all of that instead of just, uh, you know, work, working on this particular project what do you say to somebody who's watching tonight who's not convinced that this was the right kind of investment that south africa needed to make so, so i think as a country what we need to know is that we don't have an either or kind of approach in doing what we're doing well, let me give you an example a lot of people who have been complaining to you were probably sending their mess their their messages via whatsapp and whatever those are technologies somebody has developed them and they, as people, we as South Africans are paying to get those services. And what we are doing through the launches of this satellite, for example, we're looking at how this satellite are going to enhance our economic growth because a lot of our contribution to the economy comes from the oceans, whether it's because of fishing, and we know that there's a lot of um, uh, sea activity through the ports, etc. And these satellites are going to help us to monitor these spaces using our own data that we're not going to be asking from anybody. Now, without that information, you actually end up with a situation where people come in and they uh, plunder your fish without you knowing and the economy goes down. So we cannot leave and create a country where we are going to be beggars of information and technology. And ultimately, the same people as South Africans, we want jobs to be created locally. And the moment we buy technologies globally, it actually means that with our little weak round, we are actually exporting even the little jobs that we have. So when we create these spaces, even for employment locally, I want you to believe me that this is the best investment 
that South Africa can do to its future, making sure that we have got a future where our country can actually have sovereignty when it comes to critical information and data that will assess assist in decision making and policy making, and also in dealing with some of the challenges around poverty and also employment creation. Mm, and how important is it going to be then going forward to ensure that this is, you know, as implemented as early as possible because one of the things that is quite clear is that you do have youngsters that show an interest even at, at an early age and really want to be part of such initiatives. I wonder how important is it going to be then to even bring it to a lower level when it comes to schooling to try and stimulate the brains as early as possible. So what we do in terms of stimulation of the young kids is that all our uh, flagship programs, whether it is the space program, whether it is the um, you know, SKA program, whether it is the hydrogen society program, we make sure that all of these programs have special dedication that is put on the work that is done by our science advancement agency to make sure that when we go to schools, whether we, it is during our science week or during normal planned outreach that we do to schools or when students or learners visit our schools, I mean, our facilities, that they are already taught about what these things do. For example, uh, just to appreciate the fact that when we've got cell phones working, when we've got GPS working and you can go wherever you want to go, this is really on the basis of space science. And this is an area where we want them to come and create a vibrant South African-based industry. When we talk about issues of big data, you cannot have big data. When you talk about banking, when you go to withdraw money, you can't withdraw money if a satellite communication has actually been damaged or it's not working. So those are the sort of things that we try and encourage youngsters to find relevance to what we mean when we say get excited about science because it is about your everyday life. All right, uh, Doctor, thank you so much for your time. That was uh, Dr. Mboneni Muafe. He's the Deputy Director General of Technology Innovation at the Department of Science and Technology.